Hey, what's up? Charlie here with another expanding cosmic conversation. I do these videos just to get your brain working, ask yourself a couple of questions. Maybe you can think up a little bit of philosophy on the side. I don't know. After tutoring a little bit in astronomy at school, I realized that not a lot of people know certain facts that are just kind of general knowledge, but they're real interesting. So this video is designed just to give you a couple interesting facts about our sun. Does anybody out there know what an AU is? An astronomical unit. It's the average distance our Earth is from our sun, which is roughly 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers. Now you might be asking yourself, I said average. That's right. The average distance between Earth and our sun. What's the reason why astronomers and physicists use they use astronomical units rather than the actual mile size is because the numbers are humongous across the universe. When you get out of our solar system, there's some numbers you can't even pronounce. You don't even know. Oh, I've never seen that many zeros. It's just much easier to say the Earth is one AU away from the sun rather than saying the Earth is 93 million miles away from the sun. Or Jupiter is 5 AUs away from the sun rather than saying it's 465 million miles away from the sun. Now the reason why I say average is because the distance varies from season to season. Sometimes it's shorter distance or closer to the sun and sometimes it's a little bit further away. You might be asking yourself, oh obviously in the summer it's a little bit closer. Wrong. Actually, in the Northern Hemisphere's summer, the sun is further away than in the Northern Hemisphere's winter. It's true. Roughly 92 million miles for the winter time and 94 million miles for the summer time. Northern Hemisphere speaking vice versa for the southern hemisphere. The reason why we get warmer during the summertime is not because we're closer, but it's because the sunlight is more direct on our planet. Okay, let me explain this. Our Earth here has a tilt of 24 degrees. About that, about 24 degrees. Let's say we're about right here, and the sun's over here, and it's shining directly down on top of us. As if, think of this, a heat lamp heating up french fries at McDonald's is positioned directly on top instead of to the side because it's more efficient and it heats up faster. The direct sunlight penetrates less atmosphere and less land mass, which causes us to heat up faster and more efficiently during the summertime. But during the wintertime, we're tilted away from the sun. Again, we're about right here. We're tilted away. So the sun has a less direct sunlight to us. It has to penetrate more atmosphere and it has to shine across a greater landmass. Now if we took that same example I gave earlier about the heat lamp above french fries at McDonald's, if you position the lamp to the side, it would take much longer for those french fries to heat up than if you do it at the top, directly down. Thus, we have seasons, summer and winter. And that's why the sun appears higher up during the summer. It comes directly overhead and all the way back down. And in the winter, it goes slightly over the horizon. That's why we have longer days during the summer and shorter days during the winter. 
it's not because there's actually a shorter time that the sun is exposed to us it's still pretty much 12 12 but from your horizontal line or your latitude depending on where you are on earth depends how much winter how long the winter and how short your days are because in the winter as the sun comes up it's only coming up from the side a little bit and it's coming across the horizon and going below the horizon faster making the door the days appear shorter but during the summer it goes directly overhead giving us that direct sunlight the summertime and going all the way back down giving us the appearance of 13 14 hour days some interesting facts there about our sun hope you like this if you do leave a comment like it I don't favorite it watch some more videos I have a couple more ECC's anyways I'm Charlie thanks for watching peace